So the question for this presentation is we are a software company and plan to sell subscription services on internet. What all registrations and compliances aspects my company should take care of? Uh, and another question sometimes people ask, is it really easy to set up this kind of business and operate it from Singapore? So what essentially happens is software services company can be run from anywhere because there is no logistics involved. You are offering these services on the internet. So sometimes people in the nearby countries like Indonesia, India, Malaysia, they develop some kind of idea and they find it attractive to set up this company in Singapore because obviously there are tax advantages and financial benefits are also available. So that is why they want to explore idea of setting up this kind of company in Singapore and growing it further. Now keep it in mind this presentation is more for software services or subscription model companies. I am not covering here e-commerce companies because e-commerce companies essentially has a product exchange. So let's begin and first of all what subscription services we are referring here. So as I said product exchange is not involved in this and software services like hosting services may be included. So I'm going to show you some example. So let me go to the website. Okay, so here if you see, this is a website of AHREF. So they provide some kind of ACO services. Choose a plan to suit your ACO needs. And this is completely online. And they charge something like $99, $179 per user per month uh, for doing the ACO work. If I check this one, this is Asana, which is a project management online software where your team logs in and you can track your work. And their charges are like from $0 per month to premium like 10 or 24 per user per month. And the features of this software that you will get differs. So basically CRM systems, online SEO services, there can be. So this is the Singapore based Singapore's number one web hosting solution Vodian and they have some plans over here. There can be some which are even for personal use like this is Trava. Maybe some of the fitness enthusiasts will know about this and you get some kind of app which will track your cycling, walking and many other activities. So basically these are the kind of services I am referring to. And then let's have a look at what typically you will need to keep your eye on and the answers for those. So the first question is, do you need to register for customs for providing these services? Because you might be actually exporting these services. Now customs registration is for import or export of goods. But in this case, you are possibly exporting services. In the sense, if you let's say sell your service to somebody in Malaysia, then it will technically become export of service from Singapore to Malaysia. But in this case, you don't need to register for customs because customs registration is required only when goods are going to enter or exit out of Singapore. It is not relevant for services and therefore this registration is not required. The next question is, do you need to register for GST? Because many people have heard about GST, Singapore 7% uh, GST tax. Now, if you have gone through our videos on GST registration, you will notice that GST is required only when your taxable turnover in Singapore is likely to exceed 1 million Singapore dollars in a year. So if you are smaller than this turnover, you don't need to register for GST. And even if you are crossing this threshold, you have to check how much is the percentage of your export turnover versus local turnover. And there might be a possibility that you can apply for exemption. The next question is, do you need to take any licenses? Now this entirely depends upon the service. Majority of the software services do not need a license. So if you are selling something like a CRM system, you are selling like a personal fitness tracking applications, maybe you are selling something like a project management tool for businesses, then you don't need any licenses. But let's say you are selling uh, telecommunication services. Then in that case, you will need to obtain a license. So it entirely depends upon what kind of services you are selling. Selling crowdfunding services, selling any financial advisories, selling any telecommunication services, selling any services which are in the regulated sector requires a license. And this is not different from anybody doing that business uh, in a conventional manner. 
So here I'm showing you one of the Singapore's uh, leading VOIP provider, Siptel, uh, which many people know. And if you see the pricing, they are providing something like this, and which is a VOIP plan. So you, it is a software telephony, which you can do it on internet uh, using any soft phone. But if you scroll down, you will notice they are saying that Siptel is licensed by Infocom Media Development Authority of Singapore to provide VOIP and other IP-based telephony services. And the last question then is, do you need any special registration for receiving online payment? So the answer to this is you don't really need any special registration for receiving online payment. Uh, you can receive it without any registration. Normally, people use Stripe, Braintree, and, and there are actually many payment gateways you just, you, which you just link it to your uh, bank account and start using it. So in summary, setting up and operating a software subscription based company is very easy in Singapore. Thank you for watching this video. This video was brought to you by Epica Consulting Singapore. Subscribe to our channel today to get notified when new videos are posted.